All right, so let's get started. So from the intro and the title of this video, you guys know I'm going to be working with the new Wet n Wild um, Photo Focus Collection. So I did buy the uh, foundation. I also bought the powder and I got the, um, I got two concealers. One of them um, I got for my under eyes and the other I got to contour with. Now I've already been using these products um, prior to filming this video so I already know that I do not like this for under eye. I think it's a little too thick, a little too drying. Um, so instead I'm going to be using my LA Girl Pro Conceal to conceal under my eyes. But I am going to be using this to um, cream contour. And then I already had a Wet n Wild a contour palette in Dolce de Leche, so I'm going to be using that today. Um, I don't have any Wet n Wild uh, bronzers, so I'm just going to be using my Milani bronzer. So I'm going to show you how I do my entire face, and then I'm going to have a separate video on how I do the eye look, and then at the end of this video I'll show you what everything looks like. So let's just get started. So the color I have is light medium in the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. Um, well, it is light medium. The actual name is Buff Bisque. And once again, like I said, I've tried this already and this matches me to a T. So if you run light, medium, medium, depending on the day with uh, yellow undertones, then this will work for you. My local Walgreens didn't have a lot of colors. So honestly, I don't know what the range is for this new collection, but I'll leave the direct link to the Wet n Wild website down below in the description box. So if you are interested in purchasing um, the foundation or anything else, um, they'll definitely have it and they'll probably have it in more shades than your local stores. So this is what the component looks like. You open it and it has a spatula, which you know it's cute and everything, but it does um, cause the product to build up around the um, opening, which I don't really like. So if this had a pump, it would be better. And since I do use a powder underneath my foundation, um, I am going to be using my Beauty Blender to apply this because the brush will just move the powder around. I know this because I tried it <laughs> and the Beauty Blender definitely works better. So I'm just going to apply this all over my face. This foundation is very buildable, um, but with the first initial layer, it's a medium coverage. But as you can see, it matches me perfectly. I hope you can see anyway. And this is a very matte foundation in my opinion. I have um, dry combination skin more on the dry side, um, so I don't really need to set this foundation, but if you have oily combination or normal skin or your t-zone just gets oily you're probably going to need to set this but it is such a good foundation considering it's from the drugstore and i'll leave the price right here on the screen so you know exactly how much i paid for it and once again i went to my local walgreens so you might be able to find it cheaper elsewhere so i'm just going to leave my nose for last um because that's just what i do but i'm going to zoom you in so you can see what one layer looks like. So instead of building up coverage on my entire face, because I don't really need a whole lot of coverage like in my areas where I don't have acne scars, I'm just going to put a little bit more foundation um, on my blemishes and then I'm going to cover my nose. And then just after every use, I have to wipe down my um, packaging for this foundation because like I said, the foundation gunks up around the opening of the component and that's just annoying. So hopefully if they ever decide to come out with another foundation that's just as bomb as this one, hopefully they'll put a pump on it. And as far as the um, application goes, it goes on super smooth and the consistency of this foundation is more liquidy than it is... Um, creamy however it's not like watery so um, I think honestly I think it's a perfect blend of liquid and cream if that makes any sense and this has replaced my Maybelline fit me matte poreless like this has blown that out of the water like right now it doesn't feel like I'm wearing any makeup and my skin looks super 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 smooth 
while as with the Maybelline um, foundation I kind of have to like build it up and it sometimes it just feels like my skin can't breathe but with this one it literally only takes one layer around my um, areas that don't have my blunt that I don't have blemishes and then just build up a little bit on the areas that I do and I have the perfect amount of coverage that I like now this is this is buildable so you can go up to full coverage but I like more of a um, medium to full coverage so that's why I stick with this all right so I'm going to go in with my LA girl pro concealer in the shade natural but I am going to use this to highlight my face like in my t-zone area so it's going to go down the bridge of my nose keep its bow chin and forehead all the usual places so this is the concealer component this doe foot is super super tiny compared to the shape tape from Tarte which you know is my favorite so that was you know that was funny when I saw this because I, I was expecting a huge doe foot but it just slides right in there you do get a lot of product on the doe foot when you put it in but like I said the product is so thick that I don't really think it um really blends out well under my under eyes but as far as that goes like it, you know that's the only con I would say the coverage is really really good it's just really thick Okay, so I am baking my T-zone area, and I used to bake my under eyes, but um, I decided I don't really like doing that anymore because it uh, dries out my under eyes too much. So I just bake uh, where I get creasing, and I bake my nose just to lock in all of that liquid. All right, so I dust away my uh, T-zone bake, and now I'm going to go in with this um, Wet n Wild concealer, and this is in the shade Dark Cocoa. Alrighty, so I am all contoured and you have to work quick with uh, this concealer because it is thick it does dry down very quickly so I do one side at a time as you saw I sped through it and um, I just contoured the size of my nose too now this color is a little bit too dark to contour my nose with but that's why I only used a little bit and I blend blend it out so well but for everything else it looks really 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 nice as you can see now on camera, my contour is looking a lot darker than my highlight, but I am going to be putting on the Wet n Wild Press Powder, and this is also part of their Focus Collection. So that's going to help everything, you know, blend together and look a little bit better. So I just swirl a big brush and press this all over my face, including on my contour areas. So I just set my entire face using that powder and this is in Neutral Buff, number 822E. And this powder is very, very, very light. Um, it doesn't feel really like I added anything onto my skin. Um, my skin still looks really smooth. It's not cakey at all. Um, I definitely like this Photo Focus collection from Wet n Wild because like I said, everything is really light. Like, it does the job, like you can build it up, but it doesn't do cake. And I don't understand how that's possible, but here we are, and I'm not cakey. So I'm going to go do my eyes off camera, and then I'm going to come back and finish up the rest of my face using some more Wet n Wild products. And I have the Wet n Wild Cat Suit Liquid Lipsticks, which I can tell you right now, they're bomb. Go get them. They bomb. So I'll be back in a sec and finish up this look. All right, so I finished my eyes, and now I'm going to work on the rest of my face. So I'm going to intensify my contour with this Wet n Wild contouring palette, and this is in Dolce de Leche. So you get a yellow base powder and a cool tone brown. So I'm going to use cool tone brown to intensify that contour, girl. So just a little bit, though, because I don't want it to be too much. And this powder is very pigmented, so you do not need a lot. I'm literally just 
pressing my brush into it and putting it on my face. And I'm going to go in with my big fluffy brush and blend that out a little bit. All right. And then to give my face more of a bronzy feel, I'm going to go in with this Milani Big Bronzer in the shade Soleil. And this is more red-based than the Wet n Wild Contouring Palette. Um, this is definitely not a contour. It's more of a bronzer. And once again, I'm going to be really light-handed with this because I don't want it to make me look like an Oompa Loompa. So I didn't pick up a Wet n Wild uh, blush, but I am going to be using a... Too Faced blush or you can use the Milani blush in Luminoso but I have the Too Faced blush right in front of me so I'm going to use that and this is just their trio brush this is their trio blush so I'm going to go in with a little no-name blush brush and lightly go over my cheeks with that and I take the blush from the apples of my cheeks and bring it up all right, so I'm going to set my face with the Wet n Wild All Day Wear um, Photo Focus Setting Spray. And I'm just going to shake it and spray it. And this distributes a lot of product when you put it out. And the cap has these little numbers on it. I don't know what that means, honestly. So I don't know if it's like, I honestly don't know what the numbers mean. So if anyone knows what the numbers mean on these on this cap right here, you can see those right there. I have no idea what they mean, um, but this definitely sprays out a lot of products, so don't hold it too close. And unlike some of the Maybelline and L'Oreal setting sprays, especially the Maybelline setting spray, this will not leave those white dots on your face. Of course, make sure you shake it up, but um, as you can see, no white dots. Now it's time for the best part, the highlight. And um, if you watched my eye tutorial, which I'll leave up here in the cards and down below in the description box, you will know that I use the uh, Wet n Wild Precious Petals um, Highlighting Powder. And my favorite Wet n Wild um, highlight was the Fergie collection. I believe it was Hollywood Boulevard. I gave that to my sister, but that was a spot on dupe for Champagne Pop. Like, but of course they discontinued it. <laughs> so um, this is a really good one too. So I'm just going to use this on a little brush and put it on the highest points of my face. So you can see that super, super cute highlight. And finally, lips. So I did go to my Walgreens and pick up some of the Wet n Wild uh, Liquid Cat Suit. And I'm opening this one right now. This one is in the shade uh, Coral Corruption. And I've worn the Give Me Mocha shade, which is like a brownish red. This one looks more of a, like a pinkish, pinkish orange. So coral. So I think this is going to go good with the eyes. And then I'm going to top it with a Butter Balm from Ulta. So this is definitely brighter than I thought it was going to be. Mm, I still think it looks cute, you know, whatever. I don't care. I love color. So that's one layer. This stuff dries down really, really quickly. As I said, I've used the cat suit before. And honestly, this is the bet best drugstore Um liquid lipstick ever. I would even say this is better some, than some high end. Like I like this better than the Kat Von D liquid lipsticks because it doesn't like it dries down. I mean, it's drying, but it doesn't make you like, you know, like it doesn't accentuate every single line. It doesn't feather or flake off. I mean, it's not going to last the entire day. Honestly, I know it's not going to last the entire day, but I think it'll come off more gradually. It's not going to come off like in pieces. If you guys remember, I tried, um, the Malevolent Lipstick from Lip Couture or something like that. I'll leave that video down below. It literally came off in like flakes. So this doesn't do that, thank God. Um, 
and it's a lot more moisturizing than the Kat Von D, but I wouldn't say that this is a moisturizing liquid lipstick. Um, my all-time favorite formula still is Jeffree Star, but for the drugstore, this is definitely really, really, really good. So I'm going to add another layer, and then I'm going to put on some lip balm. So this is the final face look. And I'm going to go pop on some hair and end this video. All right, guys, so this is the final look. And if you like this hair, this is actually available on my Poshmark as I'm filming this, of course. So if you click the link down below and it's not there, that means it's already been sold. Sorry. But if it's still available, this is the hair. It's beautiful hair. But uh, let's talk about uh, this makeup dough. So what are my final thoughts on the Wet n Wild Photo, Photos, Photo Focus Collection? I can't talk. Uh, is bomb. Is bomb. Um, especially if you are a person that likes to save your coins. I don't even care if you have all the money in the world. No one likes to miss a good deal. And this is definitely, this is bomb. This is bomb. And I'm not one of the people that likes to go out and spend a shit ton of money on um, foundations because honestly, some of the higher end foundations are huge letdowns. Like they promise all these things. They're going to do all this. They're going to last for that much longer. But I actually find that a majority of my drugstore foundations work a lot better than my higher end foundations. Just saying. And of course, I just added another one to my arsenal. And once again, this is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation, and I am in the shade Buff Bisque. So I will leave the link down below to the Wet n Wild site so you can pick up some of their complexion products. They're also available at Walgreens, so I'll leave it down below too. And um, yeah. Oh, and these liquid lipsticks, girl, I already told you. They bomb. I hope they come out with more because they super cute. I need, so, I need like a dark, vampy lipstick from them. Hmm. <laughs> okay, guys, that's it for this video. I hope you liked it. If you did, give me a big thumbs up and press the subscribe button down in the description box so you don't miss any more content from me. And I hope to see you in the next video.